Assalamu alaikum dear student. I hope you will be very safe and sound at home and working hard for the upcoming next term or second term exam. And also I do hope that you are doing your homework, whatever is given to you. This is class 4. Let's get started our lecture. Unit 8 Bad conduct. In bad conduct, we have got this topic line. What is it? Line. Unit 8, lesson 3, page number 97. Open page number 97. This is. This is a bad conduct. Lying is a bad conduct. A person who tells a lie is not be respected in the society. A person is keep on lying is not uh, considered be a good friend. Okay, page, open page number 97. There is Ayah Mubarka. Bismillah, Aum Zubillah, Ibn Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillah, Rahman Rahim. Inna ma yaftari ka qazim al-lazina la yukminuna bi ayat al-wahi wa ulaika humul kazimun. This is ayah general from uh, Surah Nahal, Ayah Mubarak number 105. They only invent falsehood, lie. They only invent who do not believe in the verses of Allah. It is a just point to Mushrikeen. He just pointed the points to Majusi, Kafiri, and those people who do not believe in the verses of Allah. They invented falsehood. They invented uh, what is this lie? And it is those who are the lie. And Allah clearly stated for them that they are the liars. Look at your book. Lying is the basis of many evils. No doubt about this one. Lying is the basis of many evils. If you tell a lie or keep on telling a lie, you just commit many evils. Lying, first one, lying breaks trust. If somebody trusts you and if you keep on lying with that fellow, his trust breaks. Second one, confuses Affairs. Lying is also confused affairs. If you are good friends, if you have just acquaintance with other fellow, if you have some relation with other fellow, and you just keep on lying with that fellow, telling a lie with that fellow, then your affairs are definitely confused with that fellow. And creates chaos in the society. The most dangerous things in this regard is that there is chaos in the society. No reconciliation. There is no trust will be made. Falsehood conceals the truth. The important thing is that one. Falsehood conceals, hides the truth. This is the most important thing. If you just hide the truth, who will believe in you? People rely on the trust of others. That's the important thing. Rely on trust of others. Lying and untruthfulness destroy this conflict. Truthfulness, see that 
untruthfulness cause 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 destroy this confidence whatever the confidence that you have others then you keep on telling the lie with that fellow your confidence will be destroyed your trust will be destroyed no doubt about that one it's a very bad product it's a very bad habit this uh, this ashabi came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, said that i have committed i had committed such kind of things such, such kind of sin rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asked him advise him then rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him don't tell a lie okay he went back to his own uh, territory and he committed crimes again and uh, he thought when i would be in front of the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what would i say because he advised me not to tell a lie and without uh, with this one with this gesture with this uh, advice he stopped doing wrong things he stopped doing wrong things only because of this one that's why it's a major fact don't tell a lie and if a person keeps on telling a lie he will go to jahannam he will he will go to hell because he is a written he will be written he will be written as a liar and the lies will definitely go to hell the liar loses his position this third or fourth one the liar loses his position in society if a person tells a lie continuously telling a lie he has no position in the society everyone is appointed at him that he is a liar don't trust him he is a liar don't uh, get involved in your affairs he is a liar be aware of this fellow and that person loses his position in the society he has to learn don't tell a lie and it becomes an outcast outcast a person who is a throughout of the locality outcast uh, nobody try to contact with that fellow outcast uh, get him out of the society outcast so many means are there outcast but most important thing is that one liars loses to his position in the society Lying is a devious and sinful act. No doubt about this one. It's a sinful act. It's a sinful act. Guna ka amal hai. Allah wants the liar of severe punishment. Look at this. Allah wants the liar of severe punishment. Those people who keep on telling a lie are in the habit of lying with others will definitely be given a severe punishment because it's a sinful act lying is condemned by all religions because it is the root of all evils it is the root of all evils all the crimes all the evils
armed by that line. It is the basis of many evils. No doubt about this one. And all the people rejected and condemned all the religions in Christianity, in Islam, in Judaism, in Sikhism, in Shaktoism, even in Kamarist, Kamarism, Sikhism, where there are religions, whatever the religion is, line is condemned. Line is permit, permitted only in three cases. And Islam asks us on three occasions you can tell a lie. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing that we have right to tell a lie only on three occasions. And what are they? Number one, during war during Har Jagya Duram because war is a deception it is a deceivable thing it seems to be an illusion Dokha Jan Ek Dokha you can tell a lie in Har during war Number two, to bring about reconciliation among people. And if there is a fight between the two fellow, among the peoples, and that sort of fight we uh, create a great problem, you can see a terrible to reconciliation among the people. To get the people to come on one agreement and people will be very happy when they reconcile themselves on one issue. And third of all, flattery to one's wife to please her. Suppose that once you can please your wife and for what you are going to praise for her quality and she doesn't deserve isn't deserve such sort of praise like this one she's not beautiful you can praise her beauty she doesn't do how to cook well you can praise her cooking Whenever you get a chance and that quality you are praising, such kind of quality that is not present in her line is permitted on this occasion. Three occasions. During war, to bring about reconciliations among people and third one, flattery to one's wife to please her. Rasulullah sallallahu was once asked if a Muslim could be a coward, Jiban, Dusdil Hosakta, have no courage, coward, and he answered, Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, answered in Raya, it is possible that Muslim will become idol, that Muslim will become coward. It is possible. He was then asked if a Muslim could be a miser, Mukhi. And he again answered, it is possible. Once he asked about if a Muslim come covered, Jaban, Bhuzdil Hosakta, have more courage. Yes, it is possible. And second one, he also asked about this one. Muslim could be a miser, yes, it is possible. Possibility is there. And when he was asked if a Muslim could be a liar third time, 
He answered me with some sort of stated answer, replied, No, a Muslim cannot be a lion. What he thinks, that is blindness. Lion, what he thinks. A Muslim, no, a Muslim cannot be a lion. Turn the page, page number 98. There's also hadith. An Abdullah called Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Iyakum wal kaziba fa inna al kaziba yahdi ilan fajuri wa inna al fajura yahdi ilan nar wa inna al rajula la yakzibu wa yatahakali al kaziba hatta yubtaba inna allahi kaziba Nabi Abdullah bin Umar رضي الله تعالى reported that the messenger of Allah Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said a white line beware of lie white line don't tell a lie it's a bad conduct that the messenger of Allah said a white line for lying leads to wickedness. Wickedness is some kind of uh, uh, things which is not good. Kamilgi ki har tak le jata hai, wickedness. A person has both a bad conduct and wickedness is one of those. And wickedness. And wickedness leads to hellfire. Remember this one. And that community will hellfire be the end of the year. And that bad conduct, wickedness, leads to hellfire, leads to jahannam. Indeed, a man lies and makes lying a habit until he is registered, he is written. With Allah as a liar. A man lies, a person lies, and makes lying a habit. And he is in the habit of lying until he is registered with Allah as a liar. He is written as a liar in the eyes of Allah. And that liar will go to. Dear student, a white line. Don't tell a lie. Whether you want to expose yourself in front of others that you are so and so, don't tell that one. Don't tell a lie. Lie is concealed. The truth. Hide. You are going to hide your truth when you just. Tell a lie. A white lie. Prevent such kind of bad habits. It's a bad conduct. You will get no position in the society if you lie, if you're telling a lie. It's a very bad habit. A white lie. What is the punishment? Allah stated that once. Give them a severe punishment for those who are lying. And what a punishment being a Muslim will be or shall we be able to go to Jahannam, hellfire, no, not at all. What a punishment that is. Person telling is, is, is in the habit of telling a lie and will be registered, will be written as a lie, and his punishment will be in the hell, will go to hell. A white one. Beware of lies. If a person who tells a lie, ask him, You are telling a lie, why are you telling a lie? Tell the truth. That's the great things. Tell the truth. Don't try to conceal the truth. 
Don't try to hide the truth. And you have read that one, so lies have no, have no, has no position in the society. And Islam, because it is a complete code of life, this religion, being a Muslim, and it urges Islam past us. Lying, lying is permitted. Only in three cases, as I mentioned, as you have just read that one. Where? During war. Second one, to bring reconciliation among the people. And third one, flattening one's wife. To please her. Okay, dear students, I just uh, give you homework. Reading twice this chapter, this unit line, line. Second one, understand the question answer. Understand question answer. And fill in the blanks. This one. Only this. Reading twice, line, understand question answer. Uh, in the next lecture, we, inshallah, uh, we'll be able to write question answer and the other ones uh, fill in the blanks. Until then, Khuda Hafiz, wish you all the best.